Wow. Where are we? Uh, exactly where we were. And the missiles? Apparently they've turned into a bowl of petunias. And a very surprised looking whale. At a probability factor of 8,767,128 to 1 against. We have no normality. Normality, right. <clears throat> we can talk about normality till the cows come home. What is normal? What's home? What are cows? Robert Cabot's here to restore my normality. It is important to note that suddenly, and against all probability, a sperm whale had been called into existence several miles above the surface of an alien planet. But since this is not a naturally tenable position for a whale, this innocent creature had very little time to come to terms with its identity. This is what it thought as it fell. Ah, whoa, what's happening? Who am I? Why am I here? What's my purpose in life? What do I mean by who am I? Okay, okay, calm down, calm down, get a grip now. Ooh, this is an interesting sensation. What is it? It's a sort of a tingling in my... Well, I suppose I better start finding names for things. Let's call it a uh, tail. Yeah, tail. And hey, what's this roaring sound? Whooshing past what I'm suddenly going to call my head. Wind. Is that a good name? It'll do. Yay, this is really exciting. I'm dizzy with anticipation. Or is it the wind? There's an awful lot of that now, isn't it? And what's this thing coming towards me very fast? So big and flat and round, it needs a big, wide-sounding name like Ow! Ound! Round! Ground! That's it! Ground! Ha. I wonder if it'll be friends with me. Hello, Ground! Curiously, the only thing that went through the mind of the bowl of petunias as it fell was... Oh, no, not again. Many have speculated that if we knew exactly why the bowl of petunias had thought that, we should know a lot more about the nature of the universe than we do now.